All right, guys, welcome back to Ramble Mountain. Connor, I'm doing a little rifle hunting here. It's Pennsylvania whitetail season. It's the second to last day. I'm out here on public land, I'm walking across the Pennsylvania Canal right now. It was built in 1800s. It was ran until 1901. I just read the sign on the walk in here. Uh, this is a cool bridge. It's state game lands. They use this to propagate this bridge. So they run their equipment and trucks across the canal here. They have a little road where they actually drive under the bridge. It's not super deep there at all. You can probably drive through it right now, even though the water's pretty up for the year. So we'll see what we can find. There's been a good bit of shooting on the island. Uh, so most of the deer are either killed or hiding. And I say hiding because they have a good bit of place to hide on this island. It's a little weird. So the Game Commission owns it, and it's out here on the Susquehanna River. They have it split into two sections. So they have a propagation area, which is where they grow ducks and I guess other game, but mostly they have ducks. They have little duck ponds built in. So if you look here, coming across the bridge, you've got a gate that way. Not allowed to go to that side of the island. Can't go straight. To go out here, you see in the distance there, they have their office. They have a bunch of equipment parked out there. Um, it doesn't look like anybody's actually here today. There's only one other car in the parking lot next to my truck. So we'll see what we can find out here. As I said, I'm not too likely to see deer, especially just in the middle of the day like it is. It's a nice hazy day though. Sun's just peeking out. It's 36 degrees. It's supposed to warm up here this afternoon. I'm going to come outside. I brought some lunch. There's some cool stuff on the island I'll show you guys. and We'll see if we can't shoot a deer. I can only shoot a legal buck here. So that's a three on one side. Chances of seeing that in the middle of the day out here. Pretty low. But either way, it'll be a good hike. It's a good island just to walk around. Not see many people, especially for public land. So stick around. We'll see what we can shoot. So we're coming up on some of the cool stuff on this island. Like I said, it's split. So most of it is just these open fields. You might not be able to see because of the sun. But there's these cool little features they just build in here. There's nothing else going on on this island, but they're just pushing dirt around, making mound. You see there's a little duck puddle there. Um, that's still in the propagation area. Over here I can hunt. And there's these strips of trees that go out all around I didn't bring a sling to gun so I gotta carry it like this um, carrying the Savage 111 and 270 today it shoots so straight and flat for these long or potentially long field shots I don't trust anything else I have um, could put a sling on it especially for recording So I love how they manage these plots of land that the Game Commission manages them. Um, so we got down corn here. This is the middle of December here. I just jumped 30, 40 doves out of the field. If I'd had a shotgun, I'd been eating dove for a fucking appetizer today. Wow guys, this is so cool. Some of these graves, well, all of these graves, from the 1800s, the early 1800s. It was born in 1796, died in 1837. 
that's crazy. And they're still standing, being honored here. Got a couple little headstones up front, but some of these real ones are amazing. They're not even hardly degraded at all. Somebody's coming out here and mowing and still paying respects to these people. That's great. So I decided to walk up this pipeline. And it is so thick in between. Stepped in a big ass creek crossing and now my socks are all wet. It's still only 40 degrees, but perfect for this week's trash cleanup. I'm gonna keep these public lands clean and enjoy them year after year. How about it? <clears throat> Take the trash, folks. Alright guys, you can tell by the look on my face, I found what I was coming here to look for. And I'm being all loud and probably spooking every deer on this island, but look at this. It's a bunker. On the random side of this island. So I must say, so this isn't the first time I've been here. Me and my buddy, you can see the river there? We moored up on the river right there and he started driving this while I stood down there. He sent me a picture, he said, man, you're gonna wanna come up here and just send me a picture of this hole. So let me get out my flashlight so we can see a little better when we come in here. I'll show this to you guys. So how we know it's in a bunker and not a foundation is see this round with an exhaust tube up there can't build on top around so this is all it ever was all right let's go inside we got a good bit of light coming in somebody's old fireplace now I'm not sure how good you guys can see but it's maybe 50 feet long by 14 15 feet wide like I said big curved ceiling it's got two vent pipes it's so cool there's a little chair in there, looks like somebody was hunting in here. Which is actually a decent place, because if you can see, you can see that whole riverbank there. So that's what they were using this for, this bunker, is they were sitting here, and I guess watching garden either the canal back in the day, or I said, I'm going to have to look up the history, but man, is this cool. Let's go look on top. I think it would be a mistake if I didn't bring a gun. But go check out what's on top of here so here's what i'm saying how it's rounded it has these chimney vents that are coming out of it so there's an old building or something that used to that looks like a little more modern it's made out of block not just a big concrete slab you got me a pretty decent spread here for the old bunker one you got some salami sandwiches that the missus left in the fridge and forgot to take for lunch. It's Friday, so she can't use them now. Some Pringles. Sweet and salty bar. A bottle of water to wash it down. Not too bad for lunch in the woods. It's about 11.30. So, get some food in me and then a long hike back. I just wanted to come out here and show you guys. Kind of kick around and hey, if you saw a deer, you saw a deer. But um, just kind of show you guys all the cool stuff on this island. There's a little, few little other little things down there we'll take a look at and maybe find something on the way out. But I'm going to eat my lunch, go back, warm up, edit this video, and uh, come back out here on the island and actually sit in for the night. And we got tonight and tomorrow to get it done, so let's see what we can do. I'm sitting here eating. Dang fox squirrel. Big ass red bushy tail just came running through. Straight across down here. He's still kicking around down there. Scared the hell out of me. Oh man. There's a big deer running up on me. I grabbed my gun and hopped up. I'm still chilling. So I'm up here by the well is right there behind me. And the bunker is another 20 yards behind that. And there's this little like highlands that was like definitely once a clearing. Obviously people still come here and camp. Look at these perfectly cut bridge stones. So that's pretty cool. 
and I just found this. So at the end of this little clearing, there's a little shelf right here. Look, there's used to be an old railing that came around. Some kind of tie off here. Man, I gotta know the history of what what was this used for? What what was here? Um the Clark's Ferry Bridge is right there, so here if I walk down here, you guys will be able to see the bridge. Even though it's super hazy, you guys should be able to see it. Tell you what guys, it is hot out in these fields. I'm sweating. Like a September archery hunt out here. Middle of December. It's wild. So I walked about two miles north and the riverbank really thins out up here. So you can see the Susquehanna and that's actually an island across there. It's actually about a mile wide right in this area. Um, this is the other cool thing I found on this island. Um, the first time I was actually out here, this is one of the first things I found and made me think, wow, what a cool place. And again, just like rich in history. Um, but this one's a little more this channel's pace of history. So look at this old, I mean, I wish I could date it. I'm going to say again, like 50s, 60s, maybe even before that. But it could have been later if the dude was, had a real set of nuts on him. But look at this tree stand. It's got to be like... 40 feet up there so I imagine originally it was only right there where that branch was coming off or maybe even in the crook but it grew grew and it's it's all dilapidated falling apart but man if we only knew the history behind that and the animals that were seen and harvested from that stand I'm sure the last guy has hunted that's long gone by now